Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports ruined some of our profits yesterday in FIFA 23, and it's a little disappointing because everything that we expected to happen relating to the World Cup Hero SBC pack happened. We had an SBC, it was good value, and it made fodder start to go up, right? This is only like 120,000 coins to do. We'll talk about it. It's great. GG's EA Sports. But then EA did something else that they don't normally do on Mondays that brought some supply to the market. So we're going to take a look at that and talk about SBC fodder for a good bit in this video because it had some very, very interesting market movements yesterday and there's a lot to learn from there. Now for the rest of the market, like these World Cup Phenom cards, they are going up. There was a slight dip yesterday with that hype SBC dropped, but a lot of these cards are rising and have reached new highs on the market because people saw yesterday as a great opportunity to buy. And of course, since rewards are fresh, coins are fresh in people's accounts after a weekend of rewards, there are prices moving up as people have coins. So I want to take a look at everything related to the market and the path to glory upgrades that we finally got late yesterday. GG's to EA. They finally put them out. They were kind of waiting a long time to do so, but they did. I want to take a look at potential content today on Tuesday as well. Could we have another showdown SBC? Because we've got another game uh, coming tomorrow that could be worthy of a showdown. Morocco versus France. Of course, today we've got Croatia, Argentina. Last call for that showdown that was dropped yesterday with Enzo, Fernand uh, Enzo Fernandez and Pasilak. I think is how you say his name. So we'll talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these profits that EA kind of messed us up on, right? Yesterday, and we're going to the store for this one because that's where the issue was. Yesterday, we got the hero pack, right? All great. All of our investment in fodder was looking good. There was some fodder that on live on stream we were talking about like, hey guys, this looks to be a little bit too inflated. We were talking about the 88 rated cards because they exploded yesterday. Let's just go through fodder prices really quick first and kind of take you through the timeline. 88s yesterday, rising up into content time, exploded, right? They started at about 28, 29,000 coins. Even before the SBC came out, 34K, a lot of your 88s were 33, 34,000 coins an hour before the SBC dropped. And on stream, we got on and I was like, guys, that's almost too big of a rise for me. I would take the cash and sell into the hype. And that's what we said with 88s because they were up the most. And that is exactly the correct decision that looking back, right? Hindsight's always 2020, but that was the right decision because EA did not require 88s or higher in this pack. They only required 87s or higher. And so the 87s went up like crazy and the 88s got panic sold back down. But not just did they get panic sold, EA had their part in this yesterday by releasing lightning rounds on a Monday, we almost never get lightning rounds on a Monday. We didn't even get lightning rounds, I don't think, or at least that many on Cyber Monday a couple of weeks ago. And yesterday, EA dropped 100, 125, or no, it was 150K pack tradable lightning rounds yesterday. That's what it was. 150K packs, the big ones, uh, tradable. They also released the untradable pack lightning rounds. But in, in my opinion, of course, since those are all untradable, the star player packs, the 84, 85, 86 plus star player packs, those are all untradeable, so it doesn't impact the market really that much. Um, it really should make people go out and do more SBCs if they're getting untradeable fodder. But that's besides the point. EA released tradable packs yesterday as a lightning round, and that hurt the supply because those lightning rounds were selling out. And that's kind of crazy to have on a Monday. You honestly don't normally see that, but EA did that yesterday, and I really, really think that that was a part of the reason why... The fodder prices on the game yesterday did not do very well. And that's why you saw some of your higher rated cards not go up in price. Now, also, it does, um, it's a big point that the SBC did not require these cards too, right? Benzema is now back down to 52K. Your 91 rated cards are low. But again, it was an 86 rated squad requirement for the World Cup hero upgrade. And there was three 87 pluses required in the squad so of course your 87s have gone up big they're up 24,000 coins here for most of these cards they were even up a little bit more than that right away i think most of them spiked to about 26 27 in that first half an hour to an hour and then they started to get listed down by investor investors and of course supplied by those lightning rounds at the same time and that pushed these cards basically the way to think of it is 
EA kind of ruined our profits in a way that they limited them because if they did not drop lightning rounds yesterday, I honestly believe that 87, 87 rated cards would probably still be about 26, 27,000 coins because there was a lot of lightning rounds released. Those were big packs with a lot of gold players and they sold out and EA ran those lightning rounds, I think multiple times. Uh, there was some glitchiness with the store yesterday. We were kind of witnessing it live on stream. But multiple hours of lightning rounds is what really stopped the fodder from rising a lot more yesterday. Now, your 85s went up a little bit uh, yesterday. They were around like 8,000 coins, 8.2, 8.3K, and they kind of peaked right around that same time that 88s did. But the lightning rounds, again, guys, there was, of course, a lot of investing, and you can definitely point a finger at this, these prices not going up much and saying, it was over-invested. There's a little bit of that aspect in there too, um, but I also really, really think there was a lot of demand for this SBC. I mean, you take a look, 75% thumbs up for the Hero Upgrade Pack. This is only 114,000 coins to do for all of the World Cup heroes that are out. Like, this is an incredible, incredible SBC. And again, again, give a thumbs up to EA for the price of this. It's very craftable. It's only one squad. People love that. Um, and I think a ton of people are doing this SBC, and they did do it yesterday. But again, I think it was a combination of a little bit of overinvesting and uh, the fact that EA put lightning rounds in the store that didn't make fodder go up that much. Now, if you have these cards, what would I do? To be completely honest, I don't see a ton of supply coming throughout the rest of this week. So if you invested in 84s, 85s, 86s, I don't really see these cards dropping that much unless EA surprises with some sort of like one of those nation challenge packs with a really good tradable pack um, in the SBCs to either today or tomorrow. I still think there's going to be people logging onto the game and doing that uh, World Cup hero upgrade. So there still should be some demand for fodder. We have a showdown SBC out. If we get another showdown today, maybe there's a little bit more demand there. Uh, I just, I don't think fodder is going to go up that much, but I also don't think it's going to drop that much either. So I would just say right now it's kind of a wash, right? If you bought 85s at like seven and a half thousand coins, you're kind of like, well, I can either sell these guys right now for like break even around 8K or maybe a little bit less, um, or I can just hold on and try to get maybe eight and a half or 9,000 coins later this week. I would maybe take a chance, at least for today, it's Tuesday, right? I don't think you have to be worried about this fodder stuff until later on in the week. We don't have more lightning rounds, most likely, unless EA do something crazy again um, until we get to Friday with the new promo. So honestly, I would just hold this stuff. Even with the 87s, right? The 87s are in very high demand still. I think these guys could maybe go back up to like 26,000 coins by the time the week is over. This SPC is not repeatable. It's only a one time and done and it, and it expires on Thursday. Like we said, that's the foot hero world cup upgrade. So I just think if I have, if I had fodder right now, uh, I would probably be trying to lazy list it 2000 coins or so over the cheapest by now price, or at least a thousand coins over, try to catch some lazy sales, help you, uh, get some extra profits in there and then not really worry about having to sell it right away unless you really, really want your coins until, you know, towards the end of the week. So hold your fingers, cross your fingers, not hold your fingers, hold your hopes uh, that maybe EA has something else planned for today, right? Something else they could drop today would be another showdown SBC, right? Some more SBC demand. I mean, people are doing upgrade packs. Also, 78 plus player picks with all these great phenoms that are in packs, even though I think this 78 plus player pick is not a good SBC in terms of the value for how much you have to turn in for a one of two player pick of 78 plus. Give me the 80 plus double upgrade back, please. That was a great pack last week. Again, and I really think that now seeing this 78 plus, it was even better value, but people are going to be doing upgrade packs. They'll be crafting. There's plenty of SBCs to craft. Stoichkov, the dynamic duos, the Ramos, the Frimpong, the showdowns that are going away, maybe another one today, like we mentioned. So I think you can hold your fodder for now, keep lazy listing it, and just get out of it by the end of the week. It just might be one of those weeks where EA kind of messed it up for us, and uh, it's a bit of a bummer. So that's the kind of way that I see the fodder market right now. But regardless, GG's to EA for dropping that World Cup Hero SBC yesterday. The Hero cards, there was a little bit of panic yesterday. Um, not a ton, but just enough that if you bought a right couple few of cards i guess you could say there's a few cards that did end up rising back nicely like smaller was 480k he's now 520 uh, another one that i think of off the top of my head was brolin brolin was like 460,000 coins yesterday before the content drop and now he is approaching 500,000 coins 
almost 500k so these guys are starting to rebound back up and they're starting to get a bit rare honestly the way the market is going right now i, I like a lot of these prices continuing to rise up into the rest of this week and we're going to talk about that in a second with the market but also as a part of yesterday's content if you guys have any of the path to glories that were deserving and needing to be rewarded their five-star weak foot upgrades they finally have them griezmann five-star weak foot four-star skills for that card another one that i think looks really saucy after a five-star upgrade i know it's only a plus one but alejandro gomez of course in action today this is a card that if you have it don't take any chances guys sell these guys into the hype 1.1 mil for this gomez card right now five star weak foot four star skill moves of course if they win this game today he'll become five star five star as they head to the final and he'll be playing for a chance for another plus one upgrade and three additional traits on his card uh, if they would end up winning the whole world cup but if you have any of these gomez R romero right romero is a card that i know a lot of people have invested in he has just hit an all-time high 320k i believe 330 is he really 330 325,000 coins for this Romero card. This is one that I would 1,000% sell on the hype. I think that a 300K price tag, of course, with all the other Prem center backs that we have, is a good price to sell. Now, also, you can tell me, Nate, if Argentina are going to win today, I know this card's going higher, and that's also the case because if Argentina win today, this guy gets another upgrade. His price continues to go up a little bit more. But with the risk that there is now, we have all good teams in this Final Four you just want to take the cash, especially with how expensive these guys are. That would be my um, advice to you guys. So take the cash, take the safe cash on those, in my opinion. But those upgrades did go live. We also got the Showdown Taram upgrade. Um, I think he looks pretty decent. Nothing super duper insane. Now, speaking of showdowns, we had one yesterday. Where's the Taram? Right here. Um, 92 pace, 88 dribble, 89 shooting. Not bad. Going to be a super sub for me. Finally, a showdown I did. They got upgraded. I guess Kovacic did as well, but... That's besides the point. So uh, more showdowns potentially today. I mean, a part of Tuesday content, I'm guessing, is another showdown. There's no leaks for it right now, but it would just be nice if EA dropped the Morocco French showdown. That'd be perfect. They could pick some other players if they haven't just put in yet. Um, and then the showdown that we have for today's game, I think it's ending like right before content. Pasolik and Enzo Fernandez. A lot of people are doing this Fernandez card because they believe that Argentina can go through. And three-star skills, four-star weak foot, hull it gang, high, high work rates, tough links but again you imagine this card with a plus two if they're able to win it looks pretty saucy so that's the hype around this fernandez card i'm hoping that they can go through i might craft that sbc it's only about 50k not a tremendous w but it's decent so that's kind of what i'm expecting today and then an outside shot at you know some other sort of pack some other sort of upgrade sbc today a campaign bag a year in review that sort of thing. I guess there's a slight bit of potential for that. We'll just have to see. It'll be one of those things that it's either leaked or it'll be a surprise at 6 p.m. So another reason to maybe hold your fodder just for something along those lines. Now, let's spend some time talking about the market because as we mentioned in yesterday's video as well, the phenoms were gonna be a very popular point of movement on the market. And these guys are just, they're just flat rising, man. Because I think people know that the past few weeks, the weekend, like Sunday to Monday, has been some of the lowest times on the market for these cards. And especially with this promo team being as hyped as it is, if you bought some of these yesterday, you are probably in the big money. Even some of the brand new cards. Look at Lissandro Martinez from 140K yesterday at the content drop, 143 He's 186 right now. And a lot of this market looks like until we get some more better content, something crazy, something surprising on the weekend, these guys are just going to continue to slide up. What supply are we going to have between now and at least Thursday? Uh, it probably would not be enough to make these cards go down that much. So Hakimi, one of the biggest risers from yesterday. Kunde is up like 20, 30,000 coins. Um, Hakimi is almost up 100K. He was 500K for a quick second yesterday. Yeah, 488, you can see there. He was as low as 400K on Sunday night, early Monday morning. So uh, really, really big rises on some of these World Cup phenoms. I picked up a couple of Lautaro Martinez yesterday at 75K. Look at this man rise from 75 k he's now 90,000 coins uh so that's a big rise there just w's all around if you were able to buy any of these cards if you feel like you missed out um what i'd say to try to look for with some of these is if we do get any sort of pack supply sbc like um you know 
We've been getting these World Cup challenges. I think today would be a day where we might get another one of these. There's a Croatia challenge that's going away today. So I would not be surprised if we had another one drop in the game. Um, if we get a tradable pack, right, that's a, a little bit of an opportunity for some tradable supply. So uh, that could be another opportunity to pick up some of these Phenoms cards if you want to. Other than that, you might just have to kind of hold your horses and wait for some insane promo leaks for this next promo team. And then watch these guys heading into the end of the week um, where we get marquee matchups. And if there are some insane leaks, that could uh, cause a little bit of panic as well. So another thing I have to say about the content today before we talk about the market a little bit more is um, watch out for a loading screen today. I mean, it's really early for EA to drop loading screens on Tuesdays. And I think they've been doing it the past couple of promos because they also drop loading screens for the World Cup icons and after this week the world cup icons i believe we've got them all they've all been released so i don't think there's going to be uh, a loading screen for those so maybe loading screen today but it might not be until tomorrow on wednesday for our next promo i know it's looking ahead a little bit but you know tuesday loading screens have been something that we've seen recently over the past couple of weeks because they're dropping icons and a new promo every single week but that might not be the same but it's worth mentioning because we have seen that recently now let's talk about if you're trying to trade on this market right now you can actually i'll show you my transfers and kind of talk about what i did yesterday if you're trying to trade and we were talking about this on stream as well it's a incredible time to trade right now in this game a couple things that i would tell you to look out for try to trade with cards as you can see a lot of the things here on my transfer list are cards that are like less then 150, 200,000 coins. Uh, besides the Goretzka that I finally flipped, and besides this Marquinhos here that I was using in my team and trying to make a quick buck on, you know, Martinez, Grealish, Carvajal, right? I bought Carvajal's at 97, 98K. He's like 120 almost already. I should probably rise these up a little bit to 137 because he just keeps going up in price. So a really good way to trade right now on this game is to just fluctuation trade. It's one of the basics that we talk about all the time. Uh, but these cards that move in and out of fluctuations are so, so good to trade with. I bought a Betty Pele. This is a great example, right? I looked at a Betty Pele's graph on Flipbin and I knew that I can buy this card uh, and I can sell him. I know that I can sell him at like 270, 200 and almost 280,000 coins. And he was pretty low over the weekend, right? A Betty right now is 270, oh, 270 flat, right? 265, 264. So I know I bought that at Betty at 255. I know that I can sell it at 277K. So if I'm able to find this Betty for probably like anything less than 260, because again, you have to make sure you calculate it for tax, but knowing that I can sell at 277, if I can snag this card on a bid, on a snipe, you know, it's kind of grindy to trade when the market is up like this, but it's also nice because these cards kind of trend, tend to get a bit rare as less people are watching them and they just have a lot of fluctuations. So Footbin's gonna be your best friend when you're looking through some of these cards. Now, you know, you can mostly do it with the cheaper cards. It's best to do it with the cheaper cards because you have less tax on every purchase and, and every flip, but you can do it with some of these more expensive guys too. Like if you wanna trade with some of the World Cup heroes and if they move enough on a daily basis or an icon, like I bought Butragueno yesterday at 900K flat, sold them at 980 that sort of thing you can absolutely trade with the expensive cards too but this fluctuation trading i would say works the best with some of the cheaper cards so what what i would look for is like going through like like Giroud, right 62k for Giroud. what did he do yesterday yesterday when the market rose he went from 60k peaked at 67 went back down to 60 and he's kind of been around 60k since then so maybe Giroud is a card that i'm like okay he had 67k yesterday if I can get this Giroud for like maybe 59k on bid or 60,000 coins on a snipe, this is a player that people might be going to try out because again, you know, you've had France that have been pretty successful lately. Giroud himself has been performing very well. So maybe you get this Giroud card with a good chem style. You buy it for 60k on a snipe or on a bid and you list it for like 67, 68. You can get a lazy sale. The market is just continually trending upward as well. If we don't get any insane content, that could be a really great way to trade on this market in the next couple of days. So if you're looking for other players to do this with, look through these most recent promo teams, the stories cards, even some of the World Cup icons. I mean, these guys are they're so cheap like Shevchenko is 60k Luis Hernandez is 205 210 isn't he usually 220 let's see yesterday he was 224 was down at 204 at content back to 218 like this card to me right now I think he can go back to 220k he's not in packs anymore I know he's not the most meta card ever but boom here's a perfect example how many cards do we have to 220 
we got one page okay so there's a there's an okay amount of them if i see this card at like 200 flat so flippin's got him at 205 right now if i can snag one at 200,000 coins flat i will absolutely uh buy this card because i believe i'll be able to sell it at 220 in the next day if the market continues to rise up just a little bit more so that's kind of the stuff that i would go through look at the most recent promo teams don't sleep on informs guys you want me to shout one card right now that's been a really really good card to trade recently because of the bundesliga links being where they are right now with Frimpong. this informane is a card that fluctuates a lot some of your biggest and best names in the bundesliga are really really good to trade with which is why i started trading with that goretzka card as well on a higher tier now he's up a lot of course but you know keep an eye out for those bundesliga cards because they just move in price because that's where the hype is right now on this game also watch your argentina links because those cards are moving up very nicely with the acuna showdown that we have had uh the Enzo Fernandez that we of course have in the game right now that's a bit of the reason why Lautaro Martinez is going up so much and the new Lissandro Martinez is going up so much as well so that's a little bit of insight onto what is going on in the market right now and what is going on in this game hopefully EA drop us a little surprise today on a Tuesday that would be fantastic EA Sports drop us a little gamble pack a little campaign player pick or something along those lines um, because that would be a lot of fun to have on the game today but hopefully we get some content on a tuesday and if you guys did enjoy this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'm not going to sign off yet because if you've made it this far you got to see the promo card that i packed yesterday i know a lot of you guys have seen it yesterday was a game-changing day for tfa i opened an 84 times 20 i packed rafael leal lissandro martinez um and uh dirt kai was in my hero pack but it was an absolutely mental 84 times 20 so now I got to figure out a new team with the strike force of layout and Rudy Voller and Messi slash um, Neymar might have to take a seat. But uh, that was that was incredible. The reaction to this, by the way, is on the Clips channel if you missed it. So I'll link that video uh, up right here. But absolutely crazy, crazy pack pull uh, that we had this Rafael yesterday. So if you're saving your 84 times 20, maybe give it a shot because yesterday it was very, very nice to me, but it's a game. Packs always are. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I'll see you guys today in the stream. It's been Nate the Vote Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.